Hi, my name is Dr. Taylor Van Weinboom, and we're going to continue our series on peripheral neuropathy, and we're going to start going into individual reasons why you may have peripheral neuropathy. Uh, what we're going to start with is what's called MTHFR gene defect. Now, the reason we're going to start here is it's probably one of the hardest um, issues to correct if it's causing your peripheral neuropathy. It's also one of the least addressed reasons, and only a small percent of doctors actually know how to address it properly, whether that's MD, DO, DC, let's cross the board. So the MTHFR gene, what we're gonna do is we're really gonna just scrape the surface. There's so much involved with this. Um, I mean, I can make an hour long video and uh, not even get half of what we need in there to cover it properly. So we're just gonna skim the surface just to give you some information to kind of chew on. So when we're talking about MTHFR, we're talking about the actual gene defect. So 45% of the population has this gene defect. And if you have peripheral neuropathy, it could be the reason why you have it. So if you've ever been classified, let's say idiopathic peripheral neuropathy, which means we don't know why you have peripheral neuropathy, you have to get this test done because this could be the reason. So MTHFR is related to a lot of other diseases as well, things like autism, infertility, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, migraines, diabetes, Alzheimer's, MS, Parkinson's, cancer, and obviously, obviously peripheral neuropathy as well. So even if you don't have peripheral neuropathy and you're watching this video, you might want to get this gene tested to see if you have it or not. So what is it? Well, MTHFR stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase. Um, and it affects the body's ability to methylate B vitamins into a form the body can actually use. So depending on the gene setup and what's actually affected and how the genes go together, you could have up to a 70% reduction um, in the uh, function of the gene. So you can't use or you can't actually convert 70% of B vitamins that you take into your body into a usable form reason this is an issue is B vitamins are required for nerve health. So it's very obvious why peripheral neuropathy can be caused from a MTHFR gene defect. So MTHFR is part of what's called the methylation cycle. The methylation cycle um, occurs in every organ and every cell of the body and takes place over a billion times per second. So it's very common, very highly um, organized in the body. So we're talking about methylation, we're talking about either making things or taking things away. So when we're talking about making things, it'd be things like proteins, enzymes, um, things like creatine, CoQ10, melatonin, uh, glutathione, which is like the antioxidant for the body, um, and neurotransmitters. Uh, we're talking about taking things away, we're talking about detoxifying. So things like heavy metals, pesticides, bacterial toxins, um, how well your body can actually get these out of your system. So. We're talking about methylation. Now methylation um, also deals with what are called SNPs, single nucleotide polymorphism. So MTHFR gets all the, all the, you know, basically glamour and everybody knows about MTHFR if they know about it at all. The problem is, is it's not the only player in this methylation cycle. So what happens is you have your MTHFR through here and you have all these other genes that correlate as well. So if something down through here, say it's your BHMT, gene has an issue, has a defect, um, it can actually slow down this whole process and make it appear like you have an MTHFR defect. Um, so let's say you've had MTHFR tested before and it came back normal. Well, that's fantastic. Um, but the problem is, is you might still have an issue because you might have one of these other SNPs going on through the system. Uh, so when we do our testing, we do MTHFR and we do all the SNPs so we can see what action needs to be addressed, what needs to be put into the system to get it working like it's supposed to. So that poses the question is, how do you actually address these, especially being a chiropractor? Well, nice thing is there isn't a medication for it because it's body process. You know, you don't need, you know, oh man, my methylation isn't working because I have no aspirin in my body. No, that's not how it works. It's a normal body process. So you need normal body things, uh, nutraceuticals. So it's about, you know, finding exactly what gene isn't working like it's supposed to, uh, whether it's MTHFR, which would be things like methylated B vitamins, because you can't methylate them yourself. So you put methylated B vitamins into the system or something like BHMT, which is a, could be a SNP that you have. You might need something like zinc to get it working like it's supposed to. So it really depends. And these things that need to be addressed and need to be figured out. So like I said, um, you know, 
Not many doctors know how to properly address this, and if they do, they might just know how to address MTHFR. So it's a bigger story than just MTHFR. There's MTHFR, and there's hundreds of SNPs that go along with that um, that need to be looked at and considered into how your system's working. So, like I say, even if you don't have peripheral neuropathy, this might be something you want to look into getting tested as well. Um, like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot that goes into it, but I hope that it made sense to you today, and uh, we'll go into it more if need be later. All right, catch you next.